Hey guys, good evening once again. Welcome to my channel, Navigator Mama. So friends, uh, today I am going to discuss with you uh, one uh, more important topic on uh, oil tankers, uh, which is related to discharging operations. That is uh, OS, that is Auto Unloading System. So guys, uh, you may be aware as a seafarer that Auto Unloading System is very important and very uh, effective uh, in the uh, discharging operations. Uh, during the end of the charge because uh, on the COP that is the cargo oil pump provisions basically you will find this uh, auto unloading system so that uh, you can complete your discharging very smoothly okay, uh, without uh, losing the suctions on the COP so friends uh, let's go with this just some important point related to this uh, auto unloading system so uh, guys uh, the OS consists of uh, four or five important components that I am going to discuss with you the first important thing is uh, your centrifugal pump that is cargo oil pump through which you can do your discharge second comes your cargo separator okay the separator is a place a suction side suction side of your uh, this uh, pump then comes your uh, 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 level sensor levels okay level sensors there are two uh, level sensors one is lower and one is uh, upper so these are placed in your separators and fourth component is your uh, vacuum pump so basically two vacuum pumps are given mm, yeah. and these uh, two vacuum pumps uh, are you can start whichever you want so what is the main function of vacuum pump? Your separator level is full, right? That time there is no need to worry. But when your separator level goes down at that time, the empty space is taken over by the cargo vapors. Okay. So whenever this separator is filled with the cargo vapors, what happens? This vacuum pump suck all the cargo vapors. Okay. And then transfer it to the ROT or the stop tank. So this is the function of vacuum pump. Then uh, next is your uh, GEV wall, that is gas extraction wall. So gas extraction wall is basically placed between your separator and your uh, vacuum pump. Okay. So whenever your vacuum pump uh, starts, this wall is also opening automatically. Okay. And then uh, your uh, vapors are going to the slope or ROT. So these are the important uh, points of the OS system. Okay, so now you will ask what is the important uh, importance of OS means why it is required and what are the advantages. So I will discuss with you. Okay, so the advantages of OS system is basically uh, it will first it will uh, reduce your uh, carbon discharge timing. Okay, in less time you can discharge uh, you will complete your discharge operation. The second important uh, point is uh, it will. Uh, reduce your unpumpable quantity into the cargo tanks okay and last but not the least it will also uh, reduce your wear and tear of the cargo oil pump okay means your cargo oil pump will not go uh, means uh, will not uh, do the suction as well as it will not uh, raise drastically so these are the uh, three important advantages of our so friends welcome back once again so i have come into the ccr now i have just completed my breakfast uh, it's morning 8.45 so friends uh, now I will show you the uh, auto unloading system panel into the CCR console okay. uh, the panel is same which I discussed you earlier in the diagram also so let's go and have a look I will show you the operating instructions and different controls walls uh, so that you can understand better so let's go so friends you can see this is the OS panel number one number two number three OS these are the gauges separator level in this red uh, is showing separator level and uh, the black needle is showing the discharge valve position this is closing and opening position then you have the gas extraction valve this is normal this is close okay then these are the discharge valve operating mops then you have the discharge valve manual auto switch if you want to operate in the manual mode 
then keep it in manual if you want to operate in auto mode you can keep it on auto okay these are the sources this is DC source this is AC source there are two vacuum pumps given number one number two the vacuum pump also starts automatically and if you want you can start by manual mode okay so as you can see uh, so friends uh, this is the diagram in which you can understand very well that uh, whenever you are uh, going to start the OS system uh, what is the settings basically means how it uh, look like so basically uh, before starting the OS you will find that uh, this uh, selector number one is set selector after OS finish to COP run position okay so here it is written so you will find after OS finish on COP run as per numbering you can see the number two is set selector auto finish to off position number three is set selector GEV to close position GEV, GEV is gas extraction wall okay then number four is set selector recirculation wall to close position so you can find here number one number two number three number four number five is number one vacuum pump and number two vacuum pump to stop position okay number six is set discharge wall to manual position and number seven is set discharge wall loader to full close position by checking the positioner above different okay, so this is the setting you will find before starting the OS okay okay so whenever you are starting the OS system uh, you can the set the selector source to on position here you can see source given AC DC source is given so this you have to put on on position and then the second point will be set discharge wall loader to slightly open position by turning the knob okay so this is the knob okay so you have to just rotate the knob or rotate the loader slightly open the discharge wall so uh, initially you open this discharge wall slightly okay by rotating this loader okay after some time you can increase the discharge or loader gradually to full open position by turning the knob so initially it was half open now you have open fully so friends now you have started your discharging okay so now how will you make your discharging stable so for that uh, this diagram tells you everything okay here you can say number one os is uh, number one pump number one os is in, uh, started so first you have to set discharge wall position to auto position okay so your discharge wall this you have to put on auto then your set gev position gev that is gas extraction wall okay that you have to put in normal position so gev wall should be in normal position then set recirculation wall position to auto position so this recirculation wall should be in auto position and then set number one number two vacuum pump position to auto position these are your two vacuum pumps number one number two so you can put your vacuum pumps in auto position so discharging now is underway as discharge was are open and separator level is 